everybody, guess what? The 100th video special. That's right, 100 videos. This is the 100th video, I can't believe it. It's finally here, it's awesome. And to celebrate this great event, I have a new battle pass here, just for all you guys. It's my Ambi Palm A Palm Pass. And, um, you can watch the battle, and make sure you stay tuned after the battle, because I've got some important announcements to make. So, uh, don't go away. So, we are in the Sunny Park Coliseum today, and I send out my lead-off A-Palm, and I believe it's my special Ambi-Palm. So that's Banana, the A-Palm, and Pom-Palm, the Ambi-Palm. So, I decide to fake out that Swallow, because I can just grass not that Swampert. And I thought about putting up a nasty plot, but... He really doesn't need any boost to take out a Swampert, because it's just... Yeah, he has a life orb, and... You know, it's quad weak, so he doesn't really need a boost to take him out. So, I'm surprised that, like, I actually won this fight, because he had two Ubers with him. So that just proves that Ambipalm is freaking awesome. So we start off with a fake out, just to make sure the Swallow can't attack me or do anything mean. It's probably gonna, like, Brave Bird or something, I don't know. And here comes the Grass Knot. Boom! Look at that. Uh, critical hit as well. I don't know if I needed the critical hit. Probably not, just because I have a life orb. But it's always welcomed. So, Swampert goes down on the first turn, because Ambipalm is awesome like that. And there's my life orb. He uh, is slower. I, I was surprised to see that his Swallow is actually slower than my Ambipalm, but then again, my Ambipalms are very fast, so... Next Pokemon he sends in is a Rayquaza, and I thought I was done at this point, but it turns out I'm not. So I go ahead and Thunder Wave the Rayquaza because I, you know, I I knew they were pretty fast, and I wanted to make sure I could outspeed it. So, and I want to take out that Swellow just because it's an easy target, and may as well just go for it now. So I attack it with Thunderbolt. I can always nasty plot later if I need to. So. Um, where are we? Where? Are, yeah, Sunny Park. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, Thunderbolt. Zapped by Thunderbolt. Swallow goes down. So that's always nice. Yeah, Swallow is a pretty cool Pokemon. I like Swallow. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Uh, especially his guts and his little guts thing he's got going on with the Flame Orb. That's pretty sweet. Ambipalm outspeeds a Rayquaza and paralyzes it. <laughs> I just outsped a freaking Rayquaza with an Ambipalm, or an A-Palm, rather. <laughs> Rayquaza can't even kill the A-Palm. I mean, come on, man. It's a freaking A-Palm. But, uh, I'm, it's, uh, I, like I said, they are just that freaking awesome. So, now there's a Groudon out here, which is kind of stupid considering you have a Rayquaza out here. But, he probably thought he could just take me down with his first two Pokemon. He was sorely, sorely mistaken. So I thought about protecting, but then I thought, you know, I kind of need a palm to die, just because I can't paralyze the Groudon, and I, I need to get someone else out here, like uh, my eyes punching Ambipalm. I, I need to get someone else out here, so I really want a palm to get killed right about now. That would uh, help me a lot. And I go for a Grass Knot on the Groudon. For m -m 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 wow, massive damage. Look at that. That's without a nasty plot. If I had a nasty plot up, he wouldn't have stand stood a chance. So that just shows you how awesome Apom can be with a life orb. I taunt it for no reason because I want these, uh, at least Apom to die. He goes for an earthquake and kills Apom. Unfortunately, though, we brought Ambipalm down low enough, so that Rayquaza is now going to kill him with his Outrage. But, like I said, it doesn't really matter because I have a guy with Ice Punch, and I can just take him out with those. Those two. So, Ambipalm goes down to a critical hit. I think I had, like, three hit points anyway, so it didn't matter. So, now I send in Funky Monkey, the Elemental Punching Ambipalm, and 1-2 Punch... The physical attacking and Ambipalm. So, I think that's 1-2 Punch. And this one is Funky Monkey. Yeah. No, wait. Well, no, anyway. Okay, that's one. That's Funky Monkey. I know he, he should be 1-2 Punch because he's got all the punching moves, but 
This one's one two punch. You know, nicknames are awesome. So, I thought about ice punching Rayquaza and double hitting the Groudon, but I didn't want double hit to miss at like a pivotal time like this because I'm sure that would happen to me. So I went for the safe shot, safe option and ice punched the Groudon and double hit on the Rayquaza just to break a sash because I'm sure it has a sash, so. Just uh, kill his Groudon before it can do more mean things like Earthquake. And there it goes, <laughs> just taking down a Groudon with an Abbey Palm. So that's cool, and Rayquaza is, well I hate life orb damage, I go for double hit, Rayquaza's defense is pretty low, so this does a lot of damage, I mean that's awesome, this guy doesn't have a life orb, he has leftovers, cause he's a sub puncher. Uh, Rayquaza gets power hexed, so, bit of luck there, didn't really matter either way, he couldn't take down an ambipom in one hit with a critical, without a critical if he couldn't take down an apom in one hit. So I go for the Ice Punch, and the double hit again, and wow, that was an awesome battle. So that was an awesome 100th video, guys. I thank, to, uh, thank you all of you who subscribed, and all my fans, and all that kind of stuff. Everybody who comments, and rates, and all that kind of good stuff. It's all appreciated, and I'm glad I have people who actually watch my battles and enjoy them. So that's good. Now, um... I remember, or you might remember, that I said I have some news. Well, I do. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, if you don't get my friend pass when you battle me, it's be not because I hate you, it's because I can't get any more because I'm full. Anyway, on to the news. So guys, in honor of the uh, 100th video, um, I'm offering you, the viewer, an opportunity to uh, get involved with my Pokemon battling. I'm always looking for new ideas for passes, so I want you to come up with the craziest idea ever for a battle pass. It could be anything. Like, you know, I've got say, four Amber Palms and two A Palms. It could be six of the same Pokemon or some crazy strategy you've, like, just thought up. Like, anything. You want to see something done on Pokemon Battle Revolution? Yeah, just go ahead and say it. Just make a crazy battle pass for me. And I'll use it. I'll take the uh, best pass and make it. And it'll be absolutely insane. Now, there are a couple guidelines. Obviously, I don't want any Ubers or Legendaries. It has to be, you know, something that you wouldn't think would win. Something uh, that's a little bit... Something of a bit of an underdog. Just something, yeah, that kind of stuff. And it has to be original. I don't want... If you just go into someone else's PBR and see their strategy, you know, come up with something on your own that's crazy that you never thought anybody would do. And uh, last one, <laughs> I don't want teams of six Magikarp or six Caterpies or six Weedles. I, I, one Magikarp max, okay, on the pass. So basically, just come up with the craziest idea you can for a battle pass. Go ahead and leave a comment, or send a message, or somehow get it to me. And uh, I will make it, and use it on random Wi-Fi, and see if I can win with it. So, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, guys. So just go ahead and um, give me your funniest, weirdest, most unusual strategies and ideas that you want to see done, and I'll go ahead and do it. So, thanks. It's been a great 100 videos so far, and hopefully there'll be a lot more.